Hello, doers. Let's be honest here. This is a safe space. Would you ever get anything done if it weren't on your calendar? Me neither. My name is Jose Ignacio, and I would probably never attend a meeting again. And since my boss wouldn't necessarily approve of that, I should probably ensure that all my most important calendar events are synced across all my devices and accounts. Fortunately, the Odoo Calendar app is integrated with so many other Odoo apps, from CRM, sales, to appraisals. We consistently schedule appointments and send meeting invitations not just to our team, but also to our customers. So today we are going to connect our Outlook calendar to my Odoo calendar. Before we begin, Jose Ignacio recommends testing this setup on a test database using a test email address that you create specifically for this test purposes. You get what I'm getting at. That way, once that you are ready to create events, you won't accidentally invite a whole list of people to a meeting that none of them really want to attend. So with that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So the very first thing we need to ensure is that everything is in order on the Odoo side. Here we are on our main dashboard. So to start, let's open up the settings application. So up at the very top, we're going to type in Outlook. And you see the nice little box right there? We're going to make sure it's checked next to Outlook settings, and then we're going to save. Okay, once that that finishes up, you're probably noticing that this is different from our normal settings prompts because there's nothing appearing underneath it. However, once that it reloads, You'll notice if we search again now for Outlook, we have two options. We have a client ID and a client secret and the ability to pause synchronization. So we don't have those yet, but we had to do this first so that you know the two items that you're going to have to copy in the event they change phrasing in the future on either end. Now, before we also leave this page, let's also copy the first part of our Odoo URL up at the top. And you know that you've copied the right amount because it ends in odoo.com. Everything after that you can leave out. That includes the odoo slash settings little section. Okay, let's leave this tab open since we're going to come back here to fill these in. Okay, so once you've signed into your Outlook account, make your way over to the Microsoft Azure portal. A link is included below in case you need help finding the correct URL. I'm also going to ensure to update that link if information changes from Microsoft Send. Now, remember that due to some changes on Microsoft's side, either a Microsoft Azure account and funding is required or a developer's account as well for this feature to work as creating new registrations has been deprecated in recent revisions. So here on the new portal, once that you have that taken out of the way, including my disclaimer, make sure to select new registration on the left. And then once that you're done with that, we can get started. We're going to name ours Odoo Calendar. Okay, Odoo Calendar is perfect for this. And now beneath this for our options, we're going to select accounts inside of any organizational directory and personal Microsoft accounts. So below this, we have our <laughs> redirect URI. And we're going to set this very first option over here to web. And then we're going to paste in that Odoo database URL from the beginning of this flow. Remember when we saved it, it's for this exact moment. So if you don't actually have it, go back to the other tab and copy the URL up until the odoo.com part. Once that you have all of that, including the odoo.com part, you're ready to move on. So we're actually not done yet on this line, so don't hit anything else. We also need the following text that I'm showing you on the screen, and we're gonna paste that. So copy it right there at the end of the URL. So now that we're done, we hit the register button below. And then once the page finishes loading, everything is good to go, you're gonna see a bunch of lines. We're going to actually copy the one labeled application client ID. And then we're gonna paste that into the first line on the Odoo settings tab that we have over here. Okay, we have our first half done. Now go back to your Azure portal. And then on the left-hand side under the manage section, we're going to select certificates and secrets because you guessed it. We need the client secret. So now that we select client secrets over here in the center area, we're going to also select new client secret. For the description that it's asking us over here, I'm gonna name this one Odoo Calendar, six months, just so I remember that as well. All right, we're gonna leave the bottom portion beneath it just as it is, the expires is fine. And then we're gonna select add. Okay, perfect. Once it is added, we're actually going to select the little pages icon next to this little section where it says value. So this copies it to our clipboard. All right, time to go back to Odoo. 
So back inside of Odoo, once again, this time we're gonna paste this into the client secret and hit save. Boom, we're done. So once that we finished everything, it's time to demo. So from this main page, let's open up Odoo Calendar. Now this time around, we're greeted to our main little dashboard for the calendar app and I notice Outlook on the far right. Let's hit that. All right, and this time we're getting redirected again. We're gonna sign into our account and for any of these prompts, we're gonna select yes that we have in front of us. We need to. We're gonna give that a second. We're gonna let it reload, do its nice little magic. And then once that it does, we're fully synced. Now, any events, like you see me making one right here, right now, it could be any time or anything once that it's done. If we go open up our Outlook calendar, you'll notice over here we also have it and vice versa. Now all the meetings and appointments I schedule in Odoo are automatically added to my Outlook calendar without any extra steps on my part. It wasn't so bad, was it? You made your first API connection with Odoo. Nice work. Until next time, Odooers, go grab a snack.